All right, guys, so um, I'm going to do an omnibus uh, video. I don't have a huge amount of omnibus, um, so it shouldn't be as long. Um, but really, I'm just going to focus on the omnibus that I own. Um, so it's mostly Marvel and DC. Uh, real fast, if we want to talk about... I don't really know what considers omnibus and image and stuff, but I'm going to show you real fast what I do have. I call this my Robert Kirkman collection. It's All the Walking Dead, volumes 1 to 3 of Outcast, almost complete, and then Invincible... The complete series this is my favorite comic series of all time for superheroes really great stuff um they're not really omnibuses but close to it for image in dc and then here is some of my image ones as well and i guess if you want to count omnibus you could kind of count the criminals as omnibuses they're pretty huge uh and velvet is the complete series and the sagas are deluxe but those are my closest thing to omnibus for like image and such um, and then I do have like some library editions, which are Black Hammers and Lady Killer, as well as some Absolutes, Justice League and Green Arrow. So those are my omnibuses, or I don't even know if you consider omnibuses of not Marvel or DC. And, uh, and yeah, sorry about all these. These are all going on sale. Check out my eBay channel if you want something. But uh, yeah, these are uh, my omnibuses, kind of, that aren't Marvel or DC. Oh yeah, and Monster and kind of chew don't like that one okay so back to the one shelf these are this is my first shelf i have a whole nother thing we'll get to but these are mostly my spider-man and hulk um, and venom and carnage like kind of keeping in that trend uh so this is venom one two and three this starts his adventures when he's uh, just a little little tiny venom uh and then uh, mostly like the 90s is volume 2 and volume 3 gets into the early 2000s I'm mostly collecting these because I like Venom and I really can't wait till we get to my one of my favorite runs Rick Remender's run but um, I'm actually excited to read these because I've never read these kind of Venoms I read some of the 2000s but I never read these so it's pretty cool uh, Carnage I got because I actually like the majority of the Carnage stories I read it's weird don't like the character all that much like a lot of his stories Mostly he gets really good writers, so I'm excited to read, reread most of these, plus read some of the ones I didn't. Absolute Carnage, absolutely one of my favorite events. Super cool, super self-contained, which is really nice, and just look at that beauty. I have all the um, issues, so I, I bought this mostly to reread and, re and read some of the stuff I didn't, like the other symbiote stories that were going on around the same time. So excited. Um... Oops, messed that up. Uh, this I just got the other day. Super excited. This is Todd McFarlane drawing. Um, and uh, I'm kind of excited because this is like where he kind of started, I guess. Um, I never read these. And I'm excited to actually read them. Um, and I've heard a lot of good stuff about this run. I'm trying to get the Stern run um, next once I get some extra money. And I'm going to pick up the McFarlane written ones. I'm not expecting great things writing, but you know what? Just for the art alone, some awesome stuff. And then we got Clone War after the Clone whatever saga. Uh, this is the Ben Riley volume two. I got this because I got it for free as a buy two get one. Um, if I can't ever get the others, I probably will read this, but I've heard a lot of bad things, so I'm kind of excited to read it. But yeah, I, I um, got it for free, so I figured why not. Uh, this is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, Spider-Man run. Probably right behind Ultimate Spider-Man. Really, really good. This is Volume 2. Uh, volume 1 is getting reprinted next year. I'm really excited. I want to reread it again. It is what got me into the character when I was like 12 years old. So very excited to read that. Uh, Spider-Man Tangled Web. I read half of it back in the day on Marvel Unlimited and really liked it. And I got it for a great price. It was like 35 bucks. So I'm really excited to read it. Plus this cover is just extraordinary. If you've never seen it, I love this cover. Like it's some um, BDMS Spider-Man. No. Uh, it's a really cool cover though. Um, and then Ultimate Spider-Man. Possibly one of my favorite events of all time if it's really an event. But the end of Spider-Man and the Ultimate Universe of Peter Parker. And uh, yeah, makes me cry. It's great stuff. Uh, Incredible Hulk, Peter David. I've read a few of the first arcs, really enjoyed it. So I figured I'd get volume two, three. Volume four is coming, and then volume one's getting reprinted, so I'm excited to have all that. And then Hulk by, um, whatever, Loeb. Uh, Joseph Loeb. Uh, I'm excited to read it just to get the Red Hulk. I don't really know much about him. Um, but I've heard mixed things. Got it for 35 bucks. 
sometimes you can't pass on it. I mean, that's a lot of issues that I, I can get into. Okay, and this is my main omnibus shelf. I'm reorganizing, so it's kind of against the wall. It's hard to sit here, so sorry. Laura, my queen. Um, but yeah, so let's get into it um, best I can. So here's the Captain America by Ed Brubaker. I almost have the complete series. I'm just missing Reborn. And then I'll have the whole series, one of my favorite runs of all time. Uh, I'm so excited to reread it. Daredevil Companion is the probably the Frank Miller stories you hear the most about Daredevil, which is interesting that it's in the companion one and not the main. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to eventually get the main. Um, I can't find it right now, hard to find. But the companion has some great stuff like his origin story and Born Again. Here starts the Kevin Smith Daredevil, and onward we go. So Kevin Smith. Bendis, Ed Brubaker, and then I have Mark Wade's whole series done in hardcover deluxe, but uh, Daredevil's obviously my favorite character of all time um, in terms of Marvel, and uh, definitely Daredevil has always had great writers. Wolverine by Jason Aaron, read volume one, really enjoyed it, picked up volume two, which is over here. I don't know why I put it over there. And this is the old Wolverines, which I'm excited to read. I've never read them. 80s, 90s. And all new Wolverine. That's Laura. Love this run. Great stuff. X Men Apocalypse, I got because it was really good price. I'm not a huge 90s X Men fan. I'm not actually a huge mega X Men fan to begin with, except Wolverine. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. I, I, I'm going to give it a go. I got it for like 50 bucks, so I'm pretty excited. Iron Man, I mostly got. I'm not a huge Iron Man fan, but Kurt Music, that means it's a read. Punisher, this is before max series kind of interested to read it because i have the whole max and read it all so i've never read this now we're going down here and we got planetary and a hundred bullets haven't read either one god among us and justice one of my favorite dc series of all time i really just like volume one i don't care about volume two aliens was a really cool surprise never read them and uh, i really enjoyed volume one so i'm picking up volume two conan again by kurt Busick. hopefully i'm saying his name right had to get it because of his name. Deadpool. It was pretty good. I'm not a Deadpool fan, but it was a pretty good run. Hellstorm. Got mega cheap. Like 20 bucks. Had to try it. But this is the tiniest fucking omnibus I think I've ever owned in my life. Look at that shit. It's like 14 issues. What the fuck? But whatever. Uh, New Warriors. Excited just because it's got my boy Nova. So, you know, that's a read. I like Nova. Uh, Wonder Woman. One of my favorite runs. If not my favorite Wonder Woman ever. Um, really good. Batman Grant Morrison, the whole complete series. Batman Scott Snyder, Volume 1, and I'm getting Volume 2. And then Batgirl by Gail Simone. Good stuff. We got the new 52, or no, I'm sorry, the 52. I never read it. I heard great things. I want to read it. Green Lantern, pretty great, I gotta admit. Especially the first volume was amazing. Infinite Crisis, one of my favorite events. Loved it. Before Watchmen, got for 50 bucks on Amazon. I think it's still 50 bucks. I don't know. The art's beautiful. So if nothing else, I guess that'll be good when I read it. Green Arrow, possibly one of my favorite runs. Uh, good stuff. Uh, very dark, very different Green Arrow. But uh, really worth reading. Animal Man by Jeff Lemire. Got a great deal on this. 50 bucks. Looks good. I already read it. Love it. So I had to get it. Jeff Johns, Aquaman, I really enjoyed. Again, got buy two, get one free, so I was like, why not? Swamp Thing by Nancy. I'm really excited to read this. I'm reading um, from the beginning now, Swamp Thing. So after Alan Moore, I will jump into here. And Swamp Thing, New 52. Funny enough, I think Scott Snyder's run is pretty good, but it's really the second half of this run that I really like by Soul that, for me, made Swamp Thing amazing. So, yeah. That's my omnibus run, or omnibus run, omnibus thing, or whatever cases. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, any questions about them, ask me, or any that you want to get, let me know. And uh, yeah, now I got to go read them.